Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Gemini AI into Google Sheets to generate AI-powered summaries using your task data and custom prompts. As you can see, I have a list of tasks with fields like task name, status, assignee, priority, tags, and project in the task tab. Over here, in the AI Summary tab, I've created a list of prompts in column A, and column B is where the AI-generated responses will be displayed. Some of the prompts I've added include, how many tasks are pending? Give me a list of all the completed tasks. Who seems to be the best performer in terms of task completion? And give me pending tasks with a high priority. Now let me walk you through how this works. I've written a custom function called Gemini, this function takes your task data, along with a prompt, and makes an API call to Gemini AI, returning the AI-generated response. Let's see it in action. I'll type in the formula equals Gemini, and as you can see, it takes two parameters. The first is the range of cells, and the second is the prompt. For the range, I'll select the entire data set from the Tasks tab, And for the prompt, I'll select cell A2, which contains the question, how many tasks are pending? I'll also make sure the range is absolute by pressing Fn plus F4 and then hit Enter. There we go. The AI has returned the response, five pending tasks. You can even cross-check this in the Tasks tab. Indeed, there are five tasks with a status of pending. Now let's do the same for the other prompts. For the second prompt, give me a list of all the completed tasks. I'll simply drag the formula down. And here you can see, the AI has returned a list of all the completed tasks. Next for, which assignee seems to be the best performer in terms of task completion? The AI has identified Sharab Amin as the top performer. Finally, for give me pending tasks with a high priority, the AI response is create product demo video. Let's verify this. In the task tab, we have three tasks marked as high priority and indeed create product demo video is the one that's still pending. So the AI has accurately identified it. The best part is that this AI summary is dynamic. If I make any changes to the task status, it will automatically update the summary. Let me show you by marking a few tasks as done. As soon as I update the status, the AI recalculates the pending tasks, reflecting the changes immediately. The flexibility of this approach means you can easily add more prompts, experiment with prompt engineering, and even integrate this into dashboards or other automation workflows. Each time you revisit your sheet, the AI will generate fresh responses tailored to your updated data. Isn't that amazing? So you can give this a try yourself and do some creative thinking. See what ideas or improvements you can come up with. If you discover something interesting, feel free to share it in the comments. Now let me show you how you can implement this setup. First, you need to open the script editor. To do that, go to extensions and then app script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. Here you can see the custom function named Gemini. It's a simple three line custom function named Gemini. It takes two parameters, range and prompt. I prepare the prompt by combining the range of cells and the provided prompt. Then I pass it to another function called getAISummary. Now let's dive into the getAISummary function in more detail. In this file, you can see I've defined getAISummary. This is the structure of the data that Gemini AI expects. It includes keys like contents, generation config, and safety settings. I'll provide a link to the documentation in the description below so you can see how to customize these settings as needed. For example, in the safety settings, I've set thresholds like block none for categories like harassment, hate speech, and explicit content. You can adjust these based on your requirements. Once the data structure is ready, 
I use the API key to make a request to the Gemini AI Pro model. You can see I'm calling the URL with my API key and the prepared prompt. After the API call, I return the AI response. Now let me show you how to obtain the API key. As you can see, I'm retrieving the API key from the script properties. To set this up, you can go to Project Settings, and at the bottom, you'll see Script Properties. Here, I've added a key named API Key with its value as the API Key. You can also store your API key as a constant at the top of your script if you prefer, but for security reasons, I recommend using script properties as I've done here. To obtain the API key, just Google Get Gemini API Key, and it will redirect you to ai.google.dev. From there, you can create your API key in Google AI Studio. I already have a couple of keys, but if it's your first time, simply click to create an API key. It might prompt you to choose or create a Google Cloud project. If you don't have a project, you can create one through the Google Cloud Console. I'll provide the link to that in the description. Once your project is set up, you can generate the API key and copy it. Then go back to the script editor, open project settings, and paste the key under script properties. Don't forget to save. And also, you need to authorize the script for the first time. To do this, run any function, and it will prompt you to authorize the script. That's all it takes. The code itself is quite simple. This custom function for generating AI responses and the part that makes the API called a Gemini AI. You can reuse this code across all your AI-related projects in Google Apps Script making it a solid starting point for integrating Gemini AI into Google Sheets. In future videos, I'll show you even more interesting use cases, combining this workflow with other features in Google Sheets. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates. I'll see you in the next video.